RCDIY. Stay safe and have fun. This video is accompanied by a blog post whose link can be found in the description below. Welcome to a script update from rcdiy.ca. Today's script has been updated by a user who took my script, made changes to it, told me about them, and then sent them back for me to share with the community. So I took the code he sent me and made updates to it so that I can better support people who ask me questions. 10% battery remaining. 5% battery remaining. No more battery remaining. Straight gang, straight gang. This is Leviticus 21.9. We are at point zero zero six two. Roger that. Impact is imminent. Impact is imminent. Impact. Sensor lost. So this is what the script does. It reads an OpenTX global variable to determine battery capacity in milliampere hours. It reads a consumption sensor and or a voltage sensor to estimate the milliampere hours and percent battery capacity remaining. The sensors used are configurable by editing the script file. A, consum a consumption sensor is a calculated sensor based on a current sensor and the time elapsed. And I have links to more details and instructions on how to set up a consumption sensor when you have a current sensor. The script displays remaining battery MAH and percent based on MAH used. So if you're measuring current, you can do the calculations based on the current flowing. The script displays battery voltage and remaining percent based on volts. So if you don't want to use the current meter, you can just estimate your percent remaining based on the voltage. Keep in mind, however, this will fluctuate as you increase and reduce the throttle due to the internal resistance of the battery. It displays details such as minimum voltage, maximum current, milliampere is used, and number of cells. Minimum voltage is useful in determining comparative battery internal resistance. So V minimum is basically equal to the voltage of the battery minus the voltage drop. And the voltage drop is basically your internal resistance multiplied by the current you're drawing at that moment. Maximum current is useful in determining if your ESC and propeller are sized correctly. Larger propellers and higher blade pitch take more power to turn and hence more current. So if you notice that your max current drawn is higher than the rated capacity of the ESC, you have some decisions to make on to either make your ESC larger or change the size or pitch of your propeller. You can switch between the simple and detailed display using a switch, which is optional and configurable. By default, switch F down is configured to switch between simple view and detailed view. The script writes remaining battery milliampere hours to a transmitter global variable. It also writes remaining battery percentage to a transmitter global variable. And both of these are optional and turned off by default. Writing to a TX global variable is useful when you want to use your own logic switches and special functions related to battery percentage remaining. The script announces percentage remaining every 10% change. The announcements are optional and on by default. Reserve percentage is set for safety 
to 20% by default. This reserve is configurable. So all values are calculated with respect to this reserve. If you say have a 1000 milliampere hour battery and you've set your reserve at 20%, then when you start up the script, you will see that instead of showing you 1000 milliampere hours, it'll show you 800 milliampere hours remaining. On the website, which I've linked to below in the description, I've got a number of suggestions and notes on how best to use the script. I hope you enjoyed the script. Stay safe and have fun. To support this channel, please like, subscribe and follow the links below.